Nathan Cox, thanks for joining us around the home. Today I'm going to take you guys through the steps on how to install a Delta shower faucet. Now the one behind me is already assembled and installed, uh, but I'm going to take you back through how I installed it, show you the tips, have many videos in this video linking. They'll be showing up at the top right of the screen, and I'll, I'll take some stuff off of this one as we go through. Um, so it should be fairly in-depth enough. You do have to have a basic knowledge of plumbing to get into this project, um, but hopefully this video won't be crazy overly long and I also have chapters running along uh, you can see the timeline and the description down below so you can jump ahead you know go back review that kind of stuff and I'll have uh, different products I talk about during the video I'll have Amazon links in the description down below so not only do you get the product I'm talking about so you get the right stuff but it also helps support the channel so help you know click 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 on those links always helps okay first things first I'll just show you what we got here we have a pretty standard Delta faucet unit here. And now you will see that it's got the, the copper spout for the tub spout already soldered in place. And it already had the PEX fitting soldered in place as well. I didn't have to uh, screw those on. There are still the threads, so you can see right there. Uh, but this is kind of an example of what you get if you go to a plumbing supply store. This was not gotten from Lowe's or Home Depot or Menards. It was gotten from a local uh, plumbing supply, so, so a lot of the stuff was already set up for us, which is kind of cool. Okay, like I said, like this was already, this spout right here is already soldered in there. Now, some of you might be like, wait a second, but it's got like a, a plug on the end. Well, of course it does, because you got to pressure test this. But when it comes time to put the spout on, you're going to cut the end off. You know, the spout will have an O-ring, you're going to slide it on, tighten it up, and you're done. So that's really sweet. Now, this faucet also contains a diverter unit right here, okay? So that means it's going to divert it either to the shower head. Of course, the spout will have its own little plunger on it like you're used to. But then when it goes up the shower head, you need to go to the shower head. Or what this one goes up to is goes to the hose wand. Meaning the finished shower is going to look like this. And see, that's why this pipe here runs up. And then this is where the hose is going to connect to for the wand. And then up top here we have our, our regular shower head height, okay? Right up there. Now let's talk about the main faucet, how to install this and get this set up, okay? This is kind of like the main thing right here, whether you have the diverter or not, you know, th this installation video will help you either way. So when a plumber talks about a faucet, a shower faucet, this is really what they're talking about right here. When they say we need to replace the faucet, I know a lot of people, uh, when, when you hear that, you think of, you know, the handles, the trim kits, the shower head, that kind of stuff but this is what a plumber is talking about. Okay, so let's talk about depth. How deep do we set this in the wall so it lines up correctly? Um, now this is, works pretty much for most any shower setup. This is gonna be a tile shower. So we're gonna have cement board up here and then the tile, the half, standard half inch cement board. All right, so what I got is a two by four here. And then right here, starting at, at the back of it, so that the backs that the two are flush, is a two by four sitting here. Um, I, I just have it cut out, you know, here where, where the faucet is. Um, and that's going to give me the correct depth here. I don't have to keep that plastic thing here uh, to show me, you know, all that kind of stuff. I, I've just done this by experience and it works out really well. So that's, that's the depth, okay? I've seen plenty of cheap installations that just keep that plastic shroud on there and then they have a fiberglass shell and then they screw it tight with the, um, you know, with the trim plate screws. And that's it. That's what's holding the faucet in place. In fact, that's what's holding my faucet, my personal home in place until I get time to redo my bathroom. But where it should be screwed in is right there on this bracket. There, there's, a, there's a wood screw, okay? An inch of five eighths wood screw that's going in here. You can, you, you know, and then there's another one down here, okay? Now on these Delta faucets, they've been built like this for a long time. You can see right where I'm pointing to, there's a Phillips head screw right here that's holding the bracket to the main faucet, okay? There's one there and then one right here on the other side. And those screws a lot of times coming out of the box aren't even tight, okay? And if you have to screw on a fitting, whether you're screwing on a PEX fitting because you didn't get the PEX fittings already soldered in place, or you're screwing on like a galvanized connector, you're going to want to take this bracket off. That's why these screws are there. So you take the bracket off, screw your fittings on, you know, and then because they'll be in the, this bracket will be in the way, and then put it back in place. And I highly recommend that you take a couple drops of thread lock and put it on these screws, that one there and that one there so this doesn't loosen up lots on the wall. Now you shouldn't confuse this too much. Um, these screws on the deltas are always on top, have been on top since I've been installing for the last decade plus. And right here on the faucet body it says up. 
Okay, so we know that up is here. You know, if you don't have this pre pre-installed for you, up is on this side. So it's gonna see it there. They're not trying to hide it from you. And if you need to know how to connect the PEX fittings, I have a video for that popping up for you. Now let's talk about the main faucet cartridge, okay? So yes, I already have it installed, but I'm gonna take it out for you guys and show you. I already have the water shut off. If you don't, you're gonna get blasted, okay? So shut off the water to your whole house and release some the pressure. Go to a, another bathroom, the kitchen, and let some pressure out, okay? So this shouldn't squirt at us at all. It shouldn't even hardly drip. All right, that nut really can be hand tightened, okay? Because it's the O-rings in here that are making the seal, not crushing this down tight, okay? Okay, now look at this cartridge here. This is not the most common Delta cartridge that you're gonna find, especially in the standard retail models. This is what the standard cartridge looks like. And I'll explain the differences to you in a little bit. This, the regular standard one is a little easier to install than this one, okay? But th they're mostly similar. On this one here, the seals that go in for the hot and cold line actually snap off separate. And they give you this little tool to take it in and out with. And I find that putting it on, this tool really wasn't helpful. Let's see if it's helpful taking it out. Okay, and there we have that right there. A couple of O-rings there, and a couple of the old fashioned uh, from the Delta faucets that have that, that big brass ball in the kitchen faucets. These are the seals, same seals they used on that with the little springs inside here, okay? So they're still using a lot of their technology that they've had for years, and there's no problem with that because it's, it's good tech. Now on this faucet unit here, um, installing this is, is pretty easy. I did put some silicone grease on these O-rings to help them slide in and out and so they don't glue themselves in there for later on, and a little bit on the surfaces of these. All right, I'm gonna show this the best that I can. You see the two big holes on the left and right, that's the water coming in from the cold and from the hot, and yes, I do have these marked right, so the cold is gonna be on the right and the hot's gonna be on the left, okay? And then you have the smaller hole there on the bottom, which is gonna be the water that goes down to the tub spout, and then you have a little hole up there, which you can just barely see, which is gonna be the water that goes up to the shower head. It's kind of really that simple. All right, so if you have this thing right here, all right, I did not use that little holder thing. I found that was just got in the way. So I'm just gonna set it in there. It doesn't matter. There's not an up and down. There's obviously, you know, so you just stick it in there so it fits in, give it a you know, push, there it is, it's in. That's it. All right, now for the cartridge, which if you have the more standard cartridge, from Delta, then you just skip that step right there and, you're, and we're just, after you've greased the O-rings on it, so I also grease the O-ring here. If you have the standard uh, cartridge, then there'll be the O-rings on the pieces that go in those two holes there, okay? Both of these, whether it's this one or the other one, will say hot. All right, on this cartridge here, they have it stamped and printed right here on the black ring. It says hot side. On the other cartridge, I think it's more like, like right on here or something like that, I can't remember, but it, it'll say it. There are a couple of notches that are gonna line up with the notches here on the faucet body. So we're gonna stick it in. Okay, it's gonna to wanna to kind of pop back out a little bit, but that's okay. It's being pressed from the other seals on the inside. All right, as long as those notches are lined up with the slots, I'm just gonna tighten this up. Make sure it's good and snug and the faucet is ready to go. What makes this one different from the other one is this actually has like a heat control on top of, of the faucet handle. Okay, now they both of them have a scald guard where you can put a locking ring in here to keep it from going too far to the hot. It kind of cuts it back so you, you can only get so hot with it. But this one here has the faucet handle, the main faucet handle. Where is it gonna lock on at? Okay, there we go. And then it has this additional one here where you can actually kind of adjust the temperature and then you can kick it on, you know, but then this is more of like a fine tuning. This is just like the really fancy model here. So you can like really like fine tune the hot, the hot and cold, you know, from here. And then you can have hot and you know, cold there. So it's kind of like a two-step process. Um, haven't really used it very much, so I don't know 
I can't tell you like advantages or disadvantages of this style versus the standard style. Um, but that's just the way that works. I'll tell you what, the first time I installed this, I thought oh, something was wrong because I'm like, I kept turning the center, you know, the center stem here and it wouldn't shut off all the way. I was like, why is it not shutting off all the way? And then I realized that the main, the main valve is connected here to the black ring on these ones. A little different. Now, if you didn't get this copper pipe pre-soldered in, ready to go for the spout, and you're running this in PEX, well then if you just get a, a drop ear fitting, which is what I have right here. So it's a half inch, you know, a female iron pipe threaded here. It's got three screw flanges and then the PEX fitting there. So you can use that same kind of fitting down here and then attach a, uh, a brass or a galvanized nipple to it coming out uh, for your spout, if you have a spout. Now, if you don't have a spout, then you're just going to put a half inch cap on here. Uh, brass being preferred, but you can use galvanized and just screw, screw it on there on the bottom. And that's gonna cap it off. That's literally how they do it. So if you're like, I don't have a tub, I just have a shower, then, you know, cap it off. Done. That's it. Now what about when we get done and we want to install the tub spout? How does the delta work? It is a little different. So delta gives you an adapter like this. Now this is the one for the iron pipe, whether it's a brass nipple or a galvanized uh, nipple. And it's really cool actually because what you want is you want on the finished wall, you want that nipple to be hanging out from 3 8 to half inch far out, okay? Then this is going to screw onto that and then you're going to grease up this o-ring and then you're just going to thread this on there and it's going to squeeze nice tight to the wall. It's an amazing like thing that they come up with Delta. Most other brands don't do it. So I, I see a lot of brands where it's coming out of the wall. It's not just quite right. All right. Now, if you're doing it with the copper and you have a copper uh, spout coming out like this, like on here, you should have a slightly different adapter, which I realize I don't have. And it's going to be very similar to this, but it's going to have O-rings on the inside as well. And then it's going to have an Allen set screw right here. So you're going to slide this on to the copper, tighten it up. Okay. And, you know, I mean, grease all the O-rings first and then tighten it up and then, you know, thread this on just like I just, should, you know, mentioned before. Now, if your Delta faucet has a diverter, here it is. Okay. So here's a diverter, which is either a, a three function or a six function. Okay. Now I think the three functions is going to be a little more common, but if you have like multiple shower heads and stuff, then it can be a six function. Okay. Just depending on what you've got going on. If it is a three function, you're going to cap off the right side here. And not only should it have a little paper tag saying if three function cap this side, it's also got it printed or stamped on, on the brass body right here as well. So it reminds you on the faucet itself. All right. I was hoping it to come off the other side because it kind of fit my configuration better, but it's the way it's designed. So this one was not available with the, the PEX already soldered in at my plumbing supply. So then I have the standard half inch, you know, female iron pipe to the half inch PEX fittings, you know, three of them in, um, all tightened up. And then I run the PEX up and over to where it's going to come out for the hose. Okay. And like I mentioned with the spout a minute ago, I got the drop ear fitting here, which is screwed in. Uh, it's got three screw points on the flange and then I have it plugged up, you know, for pressure test. And so while I'm working on it, it doesn't actually get turned on and flood the bathroom while I'm not here. Right. So that's just a half inch galvanized plug. Um, I find that you know, they do make some big plastic handles you can use that'll thread into that for like pressure testing. But I prefer to stick a plug in there and leave it there until I'm done with the shower and ready to put the finished pieces in. And then of course the top one's just going to go to the shower head, uh, which the shower head is just straight on up there with another drop here fitting and with another half inch plug. All right. So you're probably wondering what does the diverter look like on the inside? All right, so we have another metal ring. This one does have um, kind of a, a nut style set up for like a big wrench also, but it's not really needed. It's not needed because the O-rings are what makes the seal. So as long as it's staying in place, it's sealed. And this is a two piece, all right. It's pretty easily set up to put in. There's three holes here. This is for a three function diverter. The six function diverter probably looks different. And we have this little peg sticking out, which is going to fit in the hole down there at the bottom. Okay. So that's, it's really, it's really 
a very basic setup, okay? And then these need to go together first before we put it in. So these little notches, you can see, are gonna line up with the notches. They're on the diverter body, okay? So they're left and right. And that little peg is gonna be on the bottom. So I'm gonna do my best to line them up. So that's the bottom and this is left and right. There, there we go, kind of push it in. And then we're just gonna stick it in, kind of wiggle it as we go. So we're not forcing anything and it goes right in. Again, I'm just making sure that's good in hand height, not crazy. Then here's the handle for the diverter. Okay, so to the side, it's going off to the side and up, it's going to the shower head. That's, that's, that's really all there is to it. It's, it's a very simple uh, diverter, it works really well. Um, it just adds a nice feature to the shower if you, uh, if you have it, you know. All right, let's talk about the shower head now. Now the fitting here that's going up is gonna go with the shower head, okay? Whether you have a diverter or not. So we're going up. And if you have a diverter, it's going in there, but if you don't have a diverter, it's just gonna keep going up. And there we are. So up here, it's just mounted to a drop ear fitting. It's got three screw points on the flange. It's a half inch female iron pipe fitting there. Um, so you can screw in your um, standard shower neck piece. Um, and it's attached just the same as the shower faucet body is. I have a two by four that's, you know, flush to the back of the two by four wall, okay? And it's just screwed right on top of that. A lot of people are gonna ask, well, how high do you put it? Okay, well, this is me. I'm a, I'm a five, almost 10, uh, almost five ten, like five, nine and three quarters. And I'm reaching up and this is where my hand reaches straight up, okay? Where my fingers touch it, okay? Because the shower head will come out and then down on that little arm, okay? So this gets it clean above my head. There's not an exact mounting point, okay? Older showers, you know, people used to be shorter back in the, you know, 60s and 70s. So a lot of times the shower heads were like down to here. I pretty much just reach up and where my fingers stop is where I mount it. Um, you can adjust this for yourself. If you have extra tall, maybe your family's all s over six feet. Well, go even higher. If you have a rain head shower head, you know, um, and you, you know, go even higher. I don't, I don't care. There's not a set spot. This is probably one of the most common heights uh, these days to put a shower head, which is a roughly 80 to 81, in, you know, 80, 81 inches somewhere in there. Uh, but again, you can adjust it to how you want it. It's your shower. Okay, so this isn't a beginner's guide. Uh, so if you have a moderate level of plumbing skill, I think this guide should be able to help you install your Delta shower faucet. Um, so I really wish you good luck on your project. Please take a moment, subscribe to our channel, check out our website, so many more videos there for you. And here's another video for you guys to enjoy as well. Thanks again.